Hello viewers and welcome to my latest track guide. This week we are at Circuit Park, Zandvoort, Grand Prix layout, in the Skip Barber. Without further ado, the lap we're going to be talking you through is going to be lap 11, a 55.5. The setup on screen now for all laps set within this session. Please feel free to copy that if you wish. And the weather conditions on screen now for all laps set within this session. Try to get them as close as possible to the official settings. So with that said, let's head to the track. Okay, so here we are on track, just coming across the start line to start our flying lap. As we come into turn one, we're gonna be braking, using the line across the track as our reference braking marker. Um, all the way down to first gear. Important to note, as we start to brake, you can see the car, the rear end of the car, is dropping away from us slightly due to the cambered nature of the corner. So we've got, got a little bit of um, left hand steering going on as we, just to help balance out the car under braking. Coming out the corner, we're going to be going up to fourth gear. As we come to the end of this kerb on the left here, we're going to be dropping down to third gear through the right hander. Oops camera's gone a bit funky as we in this corner be sure not to hit the right hand side curb um, that can shoot you off awkwardly into this corner dropping down to second gear sorry first gear important to stay off one stay off the inside curb and two get a really good exit this is one of the um, longest straights on the track even though it's not a straight but it's 100% of power through this section. As we come to the top of this hill, probably using, you can probably use the, um, you can see the, the end of the um, railing on the left there, just as a brake reference marker. You can see we're just starting to apply some brakes now. We're going to be dropping down to fourth gear, a little bit of off throttle, and just managing the car, hold it on the inside of the track. In fourth, as we come through here, we stick into the left hand side of the track as much as we can uh, before we drop in down to third and then we're going to throw the car in. Use all this curb on the right hand side, don't be afraid of that. And you may have just seen it going out of shot, but the right hand corner marker, we're using that as a reference point. Dropping down to second gear as we pass it. As we pull through this next section, the exit curbs are where you're supposed to be on the exit of the corner. Um, you see a lot of people kind of underdriving this section. So just basically line up the curbs. So we just hit that curb, next curb, next corner, quite a wide entry, in second gear, hug the inside as much as possible, use power out to the curb. Coming down to this next corner, quite an important corner, quite a, quite a frequent overtaking spot um, with on the track as well. Going to be using the start of the kerb on the left hand side of our brake reference marker, down to second gear. I said it earlier, really want to throw the car in across the kerbs as much as possible. And down to one, first gear here. And really don't be afraid to use all the curbs on the left hand side here. Again, track out to the curbs on the exit up to third gear. And as we just want to kind of a little dab of break into the final corner or second final corner, I guess, using the curb on the left and up through the gears through the final corner. Important on this last corner, you just want to make sure you get it in this little gully. Um, if you kind of get out of line you will probably have to lift off the fall slightly but that completes one lap as circuit parks and vault
Okay, and there we have it. As always, guys, hope this video has been of use to someone out there. If you feel it's helped you, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video, and until next time, I will see you later. Thanks for watching. See you soon.